Well, good evening and welcome. It is so great to be here in the Hardin County Schools Performing Arts Department again, Performing Arts Center. What a great place to perform and we love it here. Um, the Heartland Winds, we are so um, glad to be here performing, but I am very honored to be in front of the Heartland Winds. Uh, they are a lot of fun and great musicians. Thanks to the Hardin County Schools for their use of their band room for rehearsals. That's the Central Hardin High School. Uh, thanks for the Hardin County Schools, the media department. They are filming this tonight, videoing it. Uh, I showed my age there, didn't I? Filming it. <laughs> um, they're doing a video of it, um, and I think that uh, we had some forms that uh, they can purchase that video if they want. Um, I would also like to thank the folks here at the PAC for providing such a wonderful space in which to perform. Bart Levins, you and your, and your crew are the absolute greatest. Thank you. Let's applaud them. <laughs> now it's time to sit back, relax, and let us take you through what might be a typical December for many of us. Imagine you have just finished the Thanksgiving holidays, and you start to hear some very familiar songs on the radio, in the stores, wherever. And this Leroy Anderson favorite, a Christmas festival is a compilation of many of those songs.
Well, now that you're in the mood for a great December, your thoughts might turn to the reason we have the season of Christmas. You should gather the family together and head to church so that you can hear more about the prophecies of Jesus coming to earth to save us all. The next song is a wonderful arrangement of an old Christmas hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Elliot Del Borgo has taken the familiar melody and treated it to some pretty great transformations in this tune called Christmas Variants.
That'll wake you up, won't it? <clears throat> okay, now that we've gotten ourselves in the right mood for the Christmas season, we need to sit down and watch a good old Christmas movie. Many of you may, may want to watch It's a Wonderful Life again. And again. And again. Because I think it's on 37 times, right, this week? I don't know. Um, but some of you may remember a sometimes forgotten movie from 1961 that Disney released about a boy and a girl and a villain and a scientist with a shrink gun and a battle with toy soldiers. In the end, the villain is defeated and the boy and the girl get married and they live happily ever after. Isn't that a great Disney story? <laughs> Maybe they'll catch on. Um, the original Toyland production was in 1934 and the Disney version plot was nothing like the original version. Um, but here are some songs from that uh, we're going to play several selections from the Disney version of Babes in Toyland.
So several years ago, my wife and I, son, daughter-in-law, and granddaughter, went to visit at my wife's parents' church in Grayson County. This church was well off the beaten path. It still is. It is truly in the middle of an old country road. As the road gets to the church, it splits apart and goes around the church. It's a little church. (laughs) On the other side of the church, Gravel Road continues on into the woods and past a creek. My stepson and his one-and-a-half-year-old daughter decided to take a short walk down that gravel road. The fall leaves look beautiful. And maybe you will get the chance to simply slow down this season and walk a ways down a country lane with someone you love as you take in the beauty around you during this Christmas season. Thank you very much. Now, back to some of the chaos of the season. Maybe you truly enjoy going to the stores and being out there with thousands of your closest friends to search for just the right present for your child, your partner, your grandparents, or whomever. If you do venture into the great unknown of in-person shopping, you will probably hear music in the background. Our next tune is familiar and was the was first titled One Horse Open Sleigh when it was written in 1857. 
This one may remind you of the hectic scenes and schedules we all have during the season, especially as we count down to the Christmas day when people open those presents that we search for so diligently.
And finally, the day is here, Christmas morning. And the children have been waiting for this moment for what seems like an eternity. When I was a child, and yes, I was a child, my Christmas morning consisted of several traditions that I liked, but one of them was almost painful. We had to wait before we could open any gifts till my grandmother got there and we ate breakfast. Yeah, painful. Then the announcement. All right, you may go open your gifts. It might as well have been the starting gates at Churchill Downs as we bolted from the table to find the biggest package first. We heard the noise of paper tearing, delightful squeals of joy, as we found some things that we had been hoping for for a long time, and of course, some clothes. It might have sounded something like this. That sound familiar? (laughs) So the big day is now drawing to a close. The children have become tired of playing with their new toys, and Mother has made every effort to try on the new clothes they've received, to have have them try on the new clothes they received. Everybody has eaten more than they should, and the older generation is relaxing in front of the fire, starting to recover from the craziness of the season. As you get through the season, I hope that you have time to sit and enjoy the company of family, friends, and other loved ones. I remember that Dad would play some Christmas records, (laughs) records, (laughs) as Mom tried to get us to clean up the Christmas mess we had made. Well, the next song is a medley that includes some of the old songs. Winter Wonderland, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, and a song that most will not know called Christmas Lullaby. There are many songs with that same title, but this one was originally written by Peggy Lee, and it was written so that Cary Grant could put it on a record. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard Cary Grant sing. Probably not. He doesn't very well, but um, he did some narrating type 
of sort of speaking, singing. It was kind of uh, quaint. But here are the lyrics. It's very cute. Angels bless you, little one, while you're fast asleep. You'll awake to dancing toys, candy canes, Christmas joys. And I pray your whole life through, angels will watch over you, loving you the way I do. My little one, sleep well.
Thank you so much for coming out to this evening's concert. Everybody's ready to get out and do this sort of thing, right? Uh, it's obvious from the number of people who have showed up. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I hope you have enjoyed the evening as much as we have enjoyed preparing it for you. The Heartland Winds is made up of people from many different backgrounds and professions. The one thing that ties us together is the fact that we have a need to make music in a group, in a band. We've been rehearsing on Sunday afternoons for several weeks, and I know that the band members don't make a commitment that, like that very easily. They, again, have a need to perform. We have many from Elizabethtown area, but we also have from Bardstown, that's where I'm from, and Louisville, even, and one member comes from Nicholasville to come play with our band. It is so neat to have those people make that sort of commitment. Um, I think maybe from Lexington, at least part-time anyway. Well, he's not paying attention. <laughs> I also need to thank uh, Mr. Matt Bauckham and Trevor Irvin and, and Eric Montgomery for providing space for us to rehearse. Uh, also, thanks to Brian Ellis for letting us use his, uh, the school's percussion equipment tonight. It's great to not have to haul that stuff around everywhere. I've been known to say, we don't charge you to come in, but if you want to leave, <laughs> you know, I'm not sure I ever said that until Brian Froge said that I had said that. I don't know what the, where that came from, but um, in all seriousness, we do have expenses from insurance to performance rights uh, to moving equipment, buying music. We would very much appreciate donations that you might like to give. Uh, and we will have a couple of people anyway out there. We've got baskets, and if you want to give, that's fine. If not, that's fine, too. We just wanted you to enjoy the evening. Um, some would say that a Christmas concert would not be complete without performing so th this last tune. So, let's all go for a sleigh ride. Thank you. 
Thank you.